This training program on e-payment financial inclusion and social security was conducted for ASEAN civil servants of ASEAN countries. Input from various sources have been given on how social security issues of both urban and rural poor can be dealt through financial inclusion through various government schemes that are implemented in e-payment mode, a cashless uh, transaction and contactless uh, transaction. The training program was attended by 12 civil servants out of which 4 of them were in, from Indonesia, 3 from Cambodia, 2 from Ma Myanmar and Thailand and 1 from Malaysia. I have opportunity to learn about uh, e-payment as well as uh, final inclusion and also uh, social work which is it's become um, become our field. So India has been like a uh, good improve, improvement in uh, expanding of uh, digital payment. So uh, many of our delegation, especially from Indonesia, has been visit in India to to see how the improve of the uh, repayment, especially in social inclusion. So it's a good opportunity I can uh, I can hear. Part of uh, this training is the site visit, which uh, especially to the Chilku village, uh, where we can interact uh, directly to the villagers to 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 know how they operate the self help group. It's a very wonderful experience.
Indian wages were also included in this program so that the delegates who have come from different countries can actually explore firsthand what is happening in the ground and should be able to discuss with the stakeholders and the beneficiaries. The program provided a vibrant platform not only for uh, exchanging ideas, experiences, but also identifying global best practices in these domains, which they felt that uh, they will be able to implement in their own country. I've been to a, lot of, to a lot of places, but the experience in Hyderabad most definitely topped them all. I mean, I can feel that the staff of the DRMCR HRD has given a lot to try to make sure that this experience will go a long way in our memory. And I do thankful for the for this opportunity both to Asian from RDPE and both to, uh, and also to the PRMCR HRD for giving me the, the opportunity to join this call. First of all, we, we might not able to, you know, link so completely into our work, but after a, a complete training, we could see the linkages between e-payment, social, uh, social security, and, and all, all, all other work. I think it is very important that uh, the, the tra such training program exists especially between Asian country and uh, the one of dialogue partner in India. My best memory will be spending, spending the night here with my friends and knowing all the people from different countries and sharing together. Lots of uh, things, uh, experience and knowledge that you can take home, especially how the government of India has worked so hard to make sure the people of the marginalized uh, sectors, the rural communities, have been included in all sectors of the development. And that is very, very important because for us, Asian countries, they're the most people that we should care about.
I hope the cooperation uh, between the Asia country and the um, government of India will remain and this tenant will be open uh, as open to maybe other topics related to social development, uh, HRD and IT. So thank you for me. Terima kasih. This training program aims to look at different innovations in different countries. Provide this is also provide a platform for all of you to know what is happening in uh, respective countries, what you can uh, take away from these uh, experiments and innovations. To that extent, was useful. This program is very well and I hope this program can be moved forward and can attract more people, especially the CV7 in uh, ASEAN country. Because CV7 in ASEAN country now we focus more on the young generation. So young generation of CV7 can be bring forward and can hold our hand together to be the most collaboration between ASEAN and India. Last but not least is to say thanks to all the program managers and all program staff that can make us to be comfortable and can make us to be understand well about India. Overall, I feel that this program has paved the way for future associations and uh, more training. We are expecting more training to come up and of course, long-lasting relationship with all these countries.